Watts given the starting spot, and it is his for now. Millens in motion. Watts drills it to Freddie Millens. Little curl out on the right side. That's good for a gain out to the 26-yard line in front of Lawrence Richardson and Corey G. Harris. Give it to the fullback. There's a fumble picked up by Arkansas. Razorbacks have it on the first turnover of the game inside the 40-yard line. Ryan Sorahan is the quarterback. His second start for the Razorbacks transferred from Foothill Community College in California. He hands it off to Fred Talley, who gets the start at tailback today. Second down from the 30, the handoff Talley. Gets into the secondary and is knocked out of bounds. Reggie Miles, number 23, was there to contain Talley. Let's set the Arkansas Razorback offense. And Fred Talley in the eye behind Sorahan on second down and 12. Here comes the blitz. Sorahan comes right side. He's got a man open. That's George Wilson, number 88. Arkansas facing a third and six at the eight-yard line. They have been horrible on third down conversions in the first two games. An anemic three of 26. They'll hand it off to Talley. He's in trouble, cuts it inside, and is knocked down at the four. That will be short of the first down. And he knocks that home. So the Razorbacks able to get on the scoreboard first. They recover the Marvin Brown fumble, but have to settle for three with 10.24 to go, opening quarter. Now here is Tyler Watts operating out of the shotgun. Tony Jones, there's a draw play coming left side. Big hole. First and ten, Hudson comes into the tailback spot. And he gets the hand up. It's a play fake. And Watts pulls it down. He'll have to run. But he does this quite well. He takes a pounding, though, doesn't he? And that's why he is the starting quarterback at Alabama right now. Double tight end set. That's Millens across the line in motion. He'll give it to the second man, Galloway. A flag he is thrown on the far side. Alonzo Ephraim clapping his hands. The center for Alabama offsides Arkansas. But just like old time single wing, get your nose dirty football. And Tyler Watts has done it very well so far. Now Santonio Beard, number 34, who sneaks in, has a big hole and rumbles to the 41 yard line of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now Collins in motion wearing number seven. Lead play, Amon Galloway. The junior from Millington, Tennessee, goes over right guard, right tackle, and gets inside the 35. Third and nine at the 30. Watts will come left side. He's got a man open. That's Jason McCadley. Great effort by McCadley. Now both wide receivers to the right side. Now Phil Collins comes across to the left. Galloway skips inside the 15. Knocked down at the 14-yard line. Galloway, touchdown! Alabama on the ground, which is something they've not grown used to recently. Thank you, Jill. I owe you big time. Jill Trenery won the figure skating world championship in 1990. I just uh, had a senior moment. <laughs> Pressure. Sorahan now has some room. And he scoots out of bounds with an apparent first down on the left side. Shantu Ray was there, number 33. Brandon Holmes has come in now, listed on the depth chart as the number three tailback. Sorahan flips it out to the left side. Richard Smith. Down the sidelines and out of bounds across the 45 at the 47. Be interesting to see how Sorahan comes back from that hit right there. Here is Richie Butler had a punt blocked in this encounter between the two teams last year. Sends this one into the end zone. That will be a touchback. Here's Lane Bearden back to punt. And Marvin Jackson to return it. Arkansas should get good position here. Nice kick. Jackson. Drifts back and grabs it at the 25, but he's got a little room. Straight up the center, down nice to the 37-yard line. Third down. 
Sorahan under pressure. Got him at the 30-yard line. Moorhead was one of two who got there. The other, Kenny King. 54 and 55. Waits at the 30. And this is a fine punt by Butler. That chases Millens all the way back to the 15-yard line. And good downfield coverage from which he cannot escape. He preaches organization, discipline, attentiveness, and another penalty. Here's Bearden. Jackson moves up, grabs it at the 39-yard line. Good special teams play. There's a flag that has been thrown on the far side of the field at the 46-yard line. Holding on the receiving team. Penalized 10 yards, yards from the end of the kick. First down. Ultimately transferred away from Arkansas and went to Oklahoma State where he also played two years. Second down, Sorahan, right side. That's going to be good for a first down. George Wilson makes the grab at the 11. First down and 10. Sorahan drills it right side, and he's got his man open again. George Wilson, number 88, out of Paducah, Kentucky. He's got Wilson to the right side, and Richard Smith split left. Backs in the eye. Sasha Lancaster in the fullback, and Tally gets into the secondary. Reggie Miles gets hold of him and knocks him down, but it's a 12-yard pickup for the suddenly inspired Arkansas Razorbacks. This year, they're all healthy, and it's a matter of trying to, to balance out between the three, get them all the football. Mellons grabs it at the 15, looks for room, doesn't find any. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Brandon Holmes was the first man down. Despite the uh, story tradition of their respective programs, not regular rivals, until 1992, when Arkansas joined the SEC. Left side, Watts. That's going to work for the first down, Antonio Carter. They really hustle from station to station, and uh, no wasted time or effort. Second down and eight. Watts has Carter, and Carter has room. First down at the 42-yard line. Well, they're going to line up in field goal formation, but this one's no, 57 yards out. This is going to be a pooch kick, right? Neil Thomas. He shows what we know. Well, the reason they didn't burn is because Arkansas was ready for it. They had a guy back. First and ten, Razorbacks. They trail 7-3. Here's Cedric Cobb. As, uh, as you spoke. There's a fumble, and it is picked up. Reggie Miles for Alabama. Sean Toure forced the fumble. Second and five. 340 to go, first half. Here's Sorahan, has time, sidearms it left side. He's got Wilson open, and Wilson walks the tightrope before being forced out of bounds. High formation on second and ten. Quick setup. He's got a man open left side. It's Wilson with another catch. And Roberto McBride with a tackle. They don't get the connection, but they sent the right message to the Alabama defense. Hand off. Here's Brandon Holmes into the secondary, and that is a first down Arkansas at the 25-yard line, a gain of 17. They're down 11 points. We're getting close to the end of the half, and they're moving the football. A touchdown here would do wonders for the Hogs. Holmes goes right and cracks the 20-yard line. He's down at the 19. On third down, they try to come left, and Brandon Holmes cuts it up the middle. That will be short of the first down, as again, it's Salim Rashid. Fourth and one at the 16. Arkansas will go. Holmes, the deep back, gets the handoff. Cuts up inside, and he is uh, inside the 10 for a first and goal. And is able to get the big first down. On first down and goal, Sasha Lancaster leads, Holmes right. He's down inside the 5 and cut down at the 1-yard line by Gerald Dixon. Holmes has been the leading ball carrier. He's the deep back in the eye. Brandon Holmes hit. Got it. Touchdown, Arkansas. That's power. That's all that is. That's power and, and getting it in the end zone. And they've hit him before he gets to the line of scrimmage. And a big, powerful guy like that needs to run with a, head, a full head of steam. He hasn't been able to do it. That will be the final play of the first half. Arkansas scores first. They go up 3-0. 
Galloway's touchdown gave Alabama a 7-3 lead. Reggie Miles fumble return for a touch, 38 yards, made it 14-3. But the Razorbacks end the first half on a positive note as they go 75 yards for the touchdown. Right now, down to Jill Arrington. Richardson and Ahmad Carroll are the two deep men. There is Richardson, number one. And Bearden's kick will be taken by Richardson at the six-yard line. Nice little weave at the 20, and he is down at the 21-yard line. And the illegal block will be uh, registered against the Arkansas Razorbacks. Sorahan with pressure from Kenny King. Now more pressure from Jared Johnson. And finally the task is completed by Kendall Moorhead. And remember, two snaps have not been very good for Arkansas. This is a good one. Here's Butler's punt, nice and high. And a fair catch taken by Millens. Football! That's a penalty, burn. He didn't give him two yards. Flag is dropped at the 40. First and 10 from the 35. Carter is wide to the right, Millens to the left. Watts backs up, flips it out for his tight end. And Terry Jones Jr. rumbles inside the 15. That's uh, Jones in motion. Draw play, Galloway hit behind the line and smothered. Watts, under pressure again, spins out of a tackle, but he is caught for a loss at the 19, and uh, the Crimson Tide will have to settle for a try for three. Perfect. Neil Thomas from 36. First and 10. Here's Sorahan, right side. Diving try. And Sparky Hamilton makes the catch. Great catch. Wow. Again, sidearm. And the catch is made. Richard Smith. Big gain across the 50 and down to the 49-yard line. See him protect the ball at the end of the play. They'll run the ball coming left. Brandon Holmes. Fred Talley started the game and went out with a slight injury. And Holmes has gotten the majority of the carries. Third and one. Holmes got it. And that's going to be a fresh series of downs. Cornelius Wortham, number 16, made the tackle. Arkansas gets a break and it rolls inside the 15. Comes to rest at the 10. Collins in motion. Right side, catch is made. Antonio Carter, Lawrence Richardson at the 21. One yard short of the first down. He coached John David Crow and Gene Stallings on the 1956 team. John David Crow won the national championship that day. Here's the punt on fourth down. It's blocked! It is blocked! Jimmy Beasley, Byrne, I think is the guy who got in there. Your defense, your special teams make a big play. You must capitalize as an offense. On second down and seven. That one is almost picked off. It is not, but it was knocked down by Brooks Daniel, number 18. Now it is picked up. Amazing. The correct call by the yep. officiating crew. And it an, was a lateral. And an excellent play by Brooks Daniels to get his hands on the football. Now Watts backs up, wants to go for it all. Finds Millens wide open. Touchdown, Alabama! And Lane Bearden will kick off. Nice and high. And taken out by Richardson, who reaches the 10. And then is cut down at the 15-yard line. And those two plays followed on the heels of a punt block by Jimmy Beasley for the Razorbacks. Here's Holmes. Gain of three. Alabama was off sides. Burn, I don't even see Ryan Sorahan on the sideline right now. There's Clark. Another flag down at the 21. The pass 
sailed on Clark. And we are told from the uh, Arkansas bench, Outside. no injury to Sorehan. On the defense, five yards, results in a first down. Holmes back in with Sasha Lancaster, play fake for Zach Clark. Let's it fly left side, and it is complete for a first down out to the 38-yard line. Sasha Lancaster, who also sees duty as a defensive lineman. And here's the carry by Holmes out near the 45-yard line. Millens bobbles it. And is tackled at the 25-yard line. The tackle made by Jimmy Beasley, a lieutenant colonel in the Army, retired last summer after a 23-year career. And here's the handoff to Marvin Brown, number six, a flag dropped on the far side. Personal foul, face mask violation on the defense, 15 yards, man the run, first down. Out of the uh, spread formation, here's the option, and the pitch back. To Ray Hudson across the 50 to the 49 yard line. Well, that's highly unlikely right now. I think with uh, our capability and with our coalition partners, I don't think manpower will be a problem. Well, well, thank you so much for your service and your sons appreciate it too. God bless America. From the 50, first and five. Fred Talley escapes trouble behind the line and motors down to the 40-yard line. Butler will sail this one over his head and into the end zone. Touchback, it comes out to the 20-yard line. Watts keeps it there. Oh, it's Galloway. It is Watts. He fooled me completely. You yeah, talk about did. him not running the ball, then he carries yep. it for his third time. So we'll try it again. Here is Bearden's punt. This one very effective. Jackson at the 25. Sean nice Ray thought he was going to get the call for on Ahmad Carroll again, but there is no flag. On second down. Flip it out. The inside route being run by Richard Smith. The 10th annual SEC championship game. Here is Tally. And he breaks loose to the 40-yard line. Vern, right now, Carl Torbush, the defensive coordinator at Alabama, is thinking, let's just keep everything in front of us, guys. He says, I wish I still got paid like a head coach, but could still be a coordinator. Third and three, Holmes to the 35-yard line. It is picked up, and Reggie Miles and Ruth, but the uh, ball has been whistled dead. Seven penalties today against Alabama, many of them of the variety of jumping off sides. Good job of blocking, but then good job downfield. And finally, Naughton McKay Lozier from Toronto, Canada. Fourth and 14. Clark hit as he lets it go, and it is dropped at the 21-yard line. That is a shame for Arkansas. And his maternal grandfather was a firefighter for all of his professional life. Nice high punt. Bear catch called. Taken inside the 20 at the 17-yard line by Marvin Jackson. Points off turnovers. 14 for Alabama, none bigger than this one. A return by Reggie Miles of 42 yards for a touchdown that gave Alabama a 14-3 lead at the time. Second down and one, 426 to go in the game. Clark. Richard Smith with another catch. Herschel Bolden wrestles him out of bounds. Clark will put it up. Delivers it and it is intercepted. intercepted. So that process is in the works. They're in the process of making their response. Here's Jackson. Out of one tackle and into another and down at the 24. He didn't run the football as much tonight. He threw the ball a little bit more, but he doesn't turn it over, and he gives him a chance to win. This one flipped out right side to Sparky Hamilton, number 28. 
Very interesting day here in Tuscaloosa. Jackson coming right. We'll try to get out of bounds and stop the clock, and he does with exactly a minute to go. Again, you think back to the tribute that was paid to the, to the victims of the atrocity and all of the heroes in New York, in Washington, and in Pennsylvania. And uh, Tim Brando said on the pregame show, the healing, let the healing begin. Here's Jarrett Johnson, number 96. And uh, we all remember. Intercepted. Here goes Thurman Ward. Thurman Ward scores. 20 seconds left in this one. And they will bring it out. Richardson. He's down. Got hurt in the Alabama game last year. Missed the rest of the year. They were counting on him this year. And so far, he's been a non-factor for the University of Arkansas. Began today with 51 yards total in two games. But 40 of those yards came on one play. Well, the Crimson Tide puts a W into the season record log. They win it 31-10 with two defensive touchdowns. Reggie Miles, fumble return, Thurman Ward, interception return, and then the Watts to Millens, 39-yard pass.